Hey guys, it's Jeff with Rising Tide Plumbing. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about the basics of venting and plumbing in four minutes and some change. First of all, the basics. Why do we need venting and plumbing? So if we take this straw right here, put my finger over and pull it out, water's not gonna come out of there until I give it some air. I like to tell people that in plumbing, the movement of air is just as important as the movement of water. Proper venting in your plumbing system helps keep sewer gas out of the house by keeping all the P-traps full in all of your fixtures. Today we're going to talk about two types of venting. One, the dry vent, where it's only air going through the vent part of the pipe. And number two, we're going to talk about the wet vent, which the space in the pipe is shared by both air and water to properly vent the fixtures. All these vents tie together and go through the roof or go into air admittance valves. All right, let's check out the dry vent first. All right, so every fixture needs access to air. So in dry venting, this is how it works. Here's a toilet, toilet flange. You flush the toilet, it goes out through the P-trap, comes down, it flushes, and boom, right here it gets to a dry vent coming off of the horizontal pipe. And this is just like lifting the finger off the straw. It gets its air and goes on down the line. Same thing with a shower or a tub and shower. Got the two inch P-trap, water's going down, hits the vent, fingers off the straw, and it goes all the way down. As far as a lavatory goes, Water comes out of the P-trap, down into the pipe, and the dry vent starts right here. It gets its air that it needs to go on down and on down and out of the house. All right, so that's dry venting. To be honest with you, it's a lot of work. I don't typically do that unless I need to. So thankfully, we have wet venting. So let's take a look at that. All right, so here we have the toilet, the shower or tub and shower, and the sink or what we call lavatory and plumbing. So for a lavatory drain, if it's by itself, it only needs an inch and a half drain going to it. In this situation and in wet venting, this is a two inch line going to all the way to the trap on the lavatory. What that does is oversizes the pipe going from here to here where you, it allows for the water and the air to share the same space so the air can move on top of the water and allow for enough air to vent all these fixtures, including the lavatory. So what we have here is the wet vent actually starts right here where the water comes out of the P-trap and goes into this pipe. The wet vent is from here to here because this is a vent that's doing two things. It's allowing for the movement of water, which is obviously a drain, but it's also the venting on the top of the pipe is allowing for the movement of air, which allows for each of these fixtures to flush the way they should. All right, so with that example, on this wet vent right here, we have one fixture unit because we know that the lavatory is one. We can talk about that another time. This pipe has three fixture units on because it has the lavatory and then the tub and shower, which is two. So right here we have one fixture unit, right here we have three fixture units. On a two inch wet vent, you can have up to four fixture units. So that means we could even come off of here or even here and put another lavatory with a vent on it. And that would still give us down here four fixture units on this last part of the pipe before it ties into the line with the toilet and we would still be okay. All right, so what I did in this little segment is I just took the exact same thing we just demonstrated and I added another tub shower and a lavatory. So in a typical bathroom group, like in a master bath now, you have a master bath toilet, you have two labs, and then a tub, and then maybe even a shower. I've seen that a lot and been doing that a lot lately. So all that is is the exact same thing that we had here from the exa example uh, previous, and I added on this side another shower, and another lavatory. So this ties in separately. This is vented, uh, the shower is vented through the lavatory and everything here is protected because when the toilet flushes by, it protects this P-trap right here through the lavatory getting air from this. And then like we said before, all this is um, vented properly too. So that's how it works on a bigger bathroom. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful. Um, hit like and subscribe and hit me up with some questions so we can keep walking this plumbing journey together. And the plumbing tip of the day, not necessarily a tip, but a recommendation, but within an hour after watching this video, go do something nice for somebody. All right. Have a great day.